hello my golden souls i hope you guys are staying focused out there staying safe i want to send you some positive healing energy i've been burning my dragon's blood i do definitely advise for you guys to go get you some um at your local crystal shop maybe even online this is a very influential um herb and it is actually very 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 you know effective at this time you know around this lion's gate portal so yes go get you some dragon's blood stay cleansed stay highly vibrational stay protected and most importantly stay focused this is going to help us at this time tremendously so i am sending nothing but healing energy to you and let's go ahead and get started so earlier i was working out guys right and it came to me the eight of wands and i'm like okay so what is this eight of wands energy what is the energy regarding you know the eight of wands and i'm like oh okay this is my collective read that i am channeled you know for today so i am going to see who is it that's in this eight of wands energy or like what is it regarding because i am ready so let's get some overall energy first and then we're gonna dive in you know and get some deets all right ancestors of the highest white light as i channeling in and opening myself up to read this message i am asking to be protected as i am delivering this direct and accurate and clairvoyant read please and thank you all right so let's go ahead and get started. What is the overall energy regarding the viewer? What is the overall energy regarding the viewer that you would like for them to know? Please and thank you. Right. I hope you guys have been staying safe out there. I hope you guys have been doing all right. Don't forget to like, comment, share. I definitely appreciate you guys. Welcome, welcome. If you aren't too familiar with this voice, with these hands, with this desk, welcome. Nice to meet you. Get comfortable. Because we might be here for a while. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else, ancestors? We got one card on the table. Don't look like nothing else want to come out. <laughs> anything else ancestors okay all right that's it so we have here divination take a breath take it twice insightful reflections are guided by light so some of you are being guided to meditate to go within to do some reflecting um at this time that we are in especially regarding this lion's gate portal now is the time to reflect do some um, detaching, some cleansing, some, um, you know, inner work, some shadow work, some self-heal. Because literally we are in the transformation standpoint. So there's literally going to be newness here with 333 on the phone. You guys are definitely protected and divinely guided at this time. So with this um, divination, you know, take a breath, take it tight. Excuse me. Take a breath, take it twice. Insightful reflections. It's the time to go within. And spirit is saying coming of winter. It comes and lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. Allies, it is time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming. So the winter's coming. If you guys aren't too familiar with this, this um, deals with um the whole ancient uh let's just say way of being that we used to you know participate in so back in our ancient times with our ancient ancestors they used to do things very differently regarding the winter you know when the winter was coming it was a time for you know reflecting going within there's that reflection word again and basically you know preparing themselves for the winter so whether that be stocking you know hibernating just like animals you know basically preparing food storage water um even reserving energy because they knew that the winter was definitely going to be you know frozen crops let's just say less sun you know um 
maybe lack of water even at times. So the ancestors would literally do rituals, do spells and do different healing work and inner self work reflecting and you know going within to prepare and make sure that they are safe for this winter that is coming so the ancestors are saying lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming prepare yourself for what is coming you know go within do some do some self-search i'm hearing you know so a lot of you may be needing to do this or maybe in the energy of doing this. So that is very beautiful. So basically um, preparing yourself, reflecting, doing some um, inner work. Look, and here's the ritual. So yes, some of you are in the energy of literally reflecting, manifesting, doing that inner healing work that I said your ancestors used to do to prepare themselves for the winter. This doesn't have to physically be the winter. Um, this can be preparing yourself for this new age, preparing yourself for this Lionsgate portal, preparing yourself for a new you, a new beginning, a new opportunity. You're literally in the process of transforming, you know, collecting. Some of you are in the phase of collecting. A lot of you put out, put out, put out, and now spirit is saying it's time for you to start, you know, reaping what you sow. Karma is knocking on everyone's door. So whether it's good karma or your bad karma, you're going to be ready for it. You're going to be open to it. So that is beautiful. What else we got here? All right. And then protection at the bottom of the deck. So you guys are definitely protected. Remember when I said 333, you guys were divinely guided, divinely protected, watched. You know, basically, um, you are on the right track. You are on the right path. You are doing what you need, what you are needed to do. You are taking the precautious steps at this time. A lot of you are in the energy of repairing, regenerating yourself, re um birthing, I heard. Wow. And that ritual is out here again. You guys are definitely either manifesting something, you know, definitely creating something here. Uh, some of you guys may do tarot, may read tarot, may watch tarot, obviously. But there's definitely a ritual going on here. Some form of manifesting. So you guys are definitely taking heed to this time. You guys are definitely applying this time, using this time in your advantage. Taking, literally taking advantage of the time, the energy field that we are in now. You know, the energy has changed amongst this realm, amongst this planet, and you guys are literally taking advantage of it. You're taking the right steps to going up, to ascending, to awakening. Look, potions and spells. You guys are definitely in a manifesting moment. You're definitely in a manifesting time of being. Either if you aren't, you are asked to because you are very, very, very powerful. You are definitely powerful. You definitely have the ability to. And if you guys aren't, I mean, excuse me, if you guys are, this is definitely beautiful. Here's the number 33 again. You're definitely divinely guided, definitely divinely protected, you know, divinely helped. So uh, your ancestors are definitely proud of you. You're definitely on the right path. You are definitely doing what you have to do, taking the proper steps to become your best self. Congratulations on that. And yes, manifest. Use those manifesting powers if you aren't. Because you are capable. You have it within you. Use it. Your ancestors really want for you to go within. Go within and use it. All right, what else we got? Rooted. May you never tear the living ritual that is magic merged within the roots of your being the soil of your soul so this is the magic that is obtained within you that you actually have access to now your ancestors are saying remember when i said if you aren't manifesting if you aren't doing what you have to do you know putting out there taking that time up to manifest and speak your affirmations out into the universe if you are not in that energy your spirit guides or your ancestors are saying to you that it is rooted within you. You are literally a magician. You're the high priestess. You're the empress. You're the emperor. 
So you have it within you to literally manifest and create your own reality. With 1001 on the phone, you guys are definitely divinely guided. This is a divine plan, a divine spiritual, you know, purpose. This is you you're on a soul's mission. So a lot of you need to use your creative energy I'm hearing to, you know, possess what you need to possess, possess what you want to possess to literally shape yourself, shape your reality. That's beautiful. And then dark moon and the dark of your heart lives new breath awaiting for you to release its ghost. So there's definitely um, some newness, some new energies that you are going to be tapping into very, very soon. There's something that you're going to be coming across, some information that you may be tapping into. Some of you may be finding out something. Some of you may be, you know, letting go of something. So it's saying in the dark of your heart lives new breath waiting for you to release its ghost. So like I said, some of you are releasing something, whether that is trauma, whether that is past trauma, past relationships past situations, past jobs, anything that was not serving you purpose through this time of um, regenerating, you know, transformation through this entire process, you guys are definitely stepping into a powerful energetic being while letting go of this darkness, of the trauma, of the past, you know, conflict that you were previously experiencing. Spirit says it's not happening to you it is happening for you it is helping you to be the being the light being that you are today your ancestors are very proud of you all right and let's get a angel message so that we can get the overall confirmational answer that your ancestors are trying to tell you regarding your current situation Ancestors of the highest white light, what is it that you want to let them know regarding their current situation? Please and thank you. All right. Let's see what we got. What is the overall message that you would like for the viewers to know? All right. All right, so we have communicate clearly. So your ancestors do want for you to reach out. And as I say that, helpful people is here so you see all of those light beings you see you right here there's a there's like someone holding a child here you're that star child you're that star seed a lot of you are star beings a lot of you are actually um young star seeds if i'm speaking to a younger person you are a star being you're a star seed you're actually protected by many look at all of those angels look at all of those deities Look at all of those ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, um, guardian angels, fairies, literally surrounding you. Your wish is their command, I heard. Okay. And <laughs> as I say that, communicate clearly back here again. So your ancestors really, really want for you to talk to them, open up to them, you know. But, and then we have unlikely. So maybe you guys wanted to know something. Maybe you guys wanted to have some form of, um, you know, commitment, I heard. With 1333 on the phone, Spirit says unlikely. So let's get some more information regarding that. And what is at the bottom of the deck? Perfect timing. So yes, this is definitely you guys stepping into that magician energy. Remember I was telling you how you guys are definitely transforming, you know, adjusting to this new time, letting go you know gaining you guys are definitely becoming a new you because this is rebirth time we are in the leo energy this is expression you know um assertiveness intention power so you guys are stepping into that new you to furthermore shape and create your reality that you desire with 1414 on the phone yes you guys are doing it you're doing a damn thing i'm here you're doing a damn thing and then look right under this deck right under protection was this bewitches yes it be blinking you shall see a bubbling desire left in the brewing rain so this is somebody casting a spell this is somebody putting something out there with 10 that's um abomination that means completion you're definitely letting something go you've definitely put something out there and now you're going to be reaping what you sow remember i already said that it's payback time there's good karma and bad karma so you guys are going to be 
look no need to worry i cut it right on the deck you guys are definitely going to be uh, get receiving what it is that you have been putting out there and whether that is goodness or bad only you know but your ancestors want for you to reach out to them communicate clearly to them whenever you need help whenever you need guidance whenever you need you know some form of direction some form of overall just help spirit is saying ask for help from others specifically from us because we're here with you we are your helpers communicate clearly so that we can help you thank you spirit all right what do we have here all right and what is the current situation that we are in you guys can't even see me shuffling what is the energy in which you would like to communicate to us today thank you ancestors of the highest white light for allowing me to channel in this direct clairvoyant reading for this current reader what is the overall energy that we are in what is this unlikely I'm going to get some energy regarding this unlikely. So what is this unlikely ancestors of the highest white light? Please and thank you. What is this unlikely? What is the energy regarding unlikely? All right. Anything else? So first thing we got is find balance. Remember when I said you guys were already, some of you may already be in this empress energy, already in this, you know, magician energy, high priestess. Some of you may not need to find balance. You know, some of you may not need to seek healing. Some of you may not need to seek, um, let's just say, inner work. Some of you are already on the right path, doing what you have to do, taking the proper steps. Some of you are, some of you really been putting in the work is what I'm picking up here and like I also mentioned a lot of you I say about 48% of you are in the energy of healing releasing letting go rebuilding regenerating transforming you know becoming a new you rebirthing you so yeah and spirit is saying through that you guys are blossoming you guys are definitely in this creative energy and this creator energy so you are the creator of your reality confirmation again blossoming you know letting go rejuvenating rebuilding thank you and coming together is in the reverse so remember when i said unlikely some of you may be in the energy of you know wanting to commit to something commit to someone commit to some place spirit is saying again it's unlikely that it's coming together it's unlikely that it's going to you know happen or play out in its best good or in its highest way of being or whatever however whatever may have you spirit is actually saying that it, it's kind of it's not for you it's not meant for you you know it's not serving you it's not going to be good for you in the end so let's just not give it to you now um so yeah a lot of you are embracing a lot of you are speaking your truth i heard standing in your power expressing yourself expressing the way that you truly feel because you're no longer hiding that and then we have creative energy so yeah you guys we already know you guys have been putting in the work manifesting you know putting those rituals out there definitely in the energy of you know blossoming just becoming a whole new you so spirit is definitely saying with the sacral shocker that you guys are definitely being your best creative self you are definitely in this creative energy. You are a creative being. You are creative. So create. Remember I said express yourself. Speak to your ancestors. Be clear to the universe. Be clear to what be clear with what you want. With 1919 on the phone. It's very important for you too because you are addressing what it is. You're you're literally setting your intentions. Because once you set those intentions, Spirit says you literally have it rooted within you. Where's that rooted? You have it rooted within you. You have these magical powers rooted within you. Use them. Express them. You know, communicate clearly. Communicate clearly doesn't necessarily mean just to, you know, 
beings, just to energies. It can be to the universe. Look at this, look at this globe right here. You know, in resemblance of the universe. Spirit saying you don't necessarily have you can even set your intentions and communicate to animals. Some of you are connected with animals. Dolphins may be very, very significant to some of you. Spirit is saying you don't have to just communicate to us to set intentions, to make your point, to be clear, to express yourself. Talk to yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Talk to the universe. Talk to a friend. Talk to your mom. Talk to your dog, your cat, your pet. That's why the animals is out here. So you guys are definitely in the energy of expressing, expression, expressing yourself, you know, being clear. That is beautiful. And then with believe and succeed at the bottom of the deck, you guys are definitely on the journey of creating something. Believe that it's already yours. All right, is there anything else that you would like for the collective to know? Please and thank you. Okay, what do we have here? So we have mastering the heart in the reverse with 2111 on the phone. So some of you guys may be out of the energy of healing. Remember, a lot of you already did that. A lot of you already, you know, healed and let go and, you know, forgave and just basically move forward with yourself, your life, your journey in order to prosper, in order to be in this magician energy. A lot of you had to let go. So um, as a lot of you are rebuilding and, you know, protecting yourself, blossoming, finding balance for some of you, you know, spirit is saying through all of this, through the letting go, through the moving forward for most of you, you know, it's definitely needed if you haven't, you know, stepped into this magician energy. If you haven't found yourself, you know, definitely complete or feeling fulfilled within or internally. If you haven't been experiencing that, spirit is definitely saying it is time to reflect. It is time to take a breath, you know, take it twice. Insight, go within and go, go heal, basically. But if you, if you, if you take this time and you take this, 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 this this um this time out for yourself and basically reflect if you use this time to your advantage thank you spirit joy and stability is here you know abundance is here opportunity is here um your dreams are definitely coming true spirit says things are here for you everything is on your side and working out in your best favor with teach in the reverse a lot of you guys have been you know leading and guiding others uh, i see people looking up to you but while it's in the reverse i'm picking up what am i picking up spirit a lot of you guys aren't aren't looking for attention right now a lot of you guys aren't looking to be in the spotlight a lot of you guys may may not even be wanting to express yourself remember when i was like express yourself communicate with others reach out to others you know, set your intentions. A lot of you guys may not be looking for that. A lot of you literally may just be trying to heal, trying to let go, forget, you know, forgive. A lot of, a lot of you, I'd say about 98% of you are definitely still healing. You're not ready to be out in the open, out in the public eye. Though some of you are, a few of you, like majority of you may not be, so. I definitely am picking up strong, like, healing energy. Strong, regenerating yourself. You know, just coming back to your senses. A lot of you felt like you lost it all. A lot of you felt like you, you're lost. A lot of you were lost. I'm picking up strong, you know, ex-relationship energy. With this coming together in the reverse, a lot of things didn't work out for you. You know, this is why unlikely is here. So a lot of things didn't work out for you. A lot of things didn't go in your favor. Maybe you guys weren't the leader in your life, but lead in the reverse. Maybe some of you guys weren't, you know, in this leadership energy or the or had the ability to express yourself or how you felt or what you wanted. A lot of you guys literally took the back seat of your life. And now this this recovery is here 
some of you guys can't stand you know to be with others can't stand or deal with others right now specifically because you have been put up putting up with whatever energy this is but your angels are telling you to just breathe it's okay because they're here with you now they've they've, they've been seeing your struggle remember when i said earlier your situation wasn't happening to you it was happening for you a lot of them are saying we needed you to go through that we needed you to go through that we love you though <laughs> we love you though we're here with you we're here with you all of what you all of what you were going through it wasn't for it wasn't for us you know to hurt you it wasn't to hurt you it wasn't to keep you down it was literally to build you up and make you stronger now seek the truth because a lot of you are refusing to see it that way but seek the truth crack the case crack the case open up with yourself express yourself here again wow so yeah let's let's just get right into it i'm feeling it a lot of you were going through some things but we're definitely feeling you know a new wave a new way of being You're, you guys are definitely protected with 444 out here on the table look awaiting results so whatever you planted whatever it is that you're manifesting right now it's 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 here it's coming wait for it be patient believe stay positive because it's here i'm definitely picking that up strong some of you guys just actually you know within the past few i'd say about the the past five days within the past five days some of you guys were doing a ritual some of you guys were manifesting something and it's on the way it's coming to you it's already yours look success and growth out here but it came up in the reverse hmm and then with feeling alone so for others of you you may be stuck in stagnation possibly mentally just because you are you know stuck to this energy it may feel like a challenge whatever you were experiencing may have felt a little bit challenging it may have left you feeling very lonely very alone but spirit says you are strengthening your bonds remember they was telling you that they loved you and that they were still here with you and that they needed you to go through that a lot of you guys it's it's coming together you know things are going to come together well deserved rewards right underneath things are coming together you deserve this spirit is saying listen to us remember when it said refusing to see you don't have to see it forget about seeing feel it listen to us within tap into the portal of your heart you see this portal it looks like she's going through a portal that's that transformation listen to your intuition i'm picking up heavy because healing is here. You guys are definitely healing. You guys are stepping into this new vitality, this new way of being, this, these new opportunities are here. Being that you healed and you moved on. What else we got, Spirit? I'm picking up heavy move on energy. And as I started to pick that up, take the lead came out. So you guys are moving on and taking your power back. You're stepping into your power for a lot of you. You guys are definitely stepping into your power. You're healing. You're letting go. You're removing yourself from these energies because you you notice that they they're they're not there for you. They're not serving you purpose. They're not they're not who they say they are. They're not what they are. They're not what they're claiming to be. And you've finally tapped into that with your senses. A lot of you guys are intuitive. All right. What well, else oh, we got? Flow. So trust, 28, 28 on the phone. Your angels are here with you. Trust, believe, and succeed. And I believe we already had, hmm. Let's see what else we got here, ancestors of the eyes, white light. All right. So, like I mentioned, I keep picking this energy up strong. A lot of you are feeling damaged and broke broken you were left broken i heard you know from that current or excuse me oh i didn't mean to say current i meant to actually say past but this could be a current situation for a select few of you a great deal of you a lot of you are still in that energy which is why detach is in the reverse so you guys either may be out of that energy or still currently in that energy, which explains why shine is in the reverse. You don't feel like you're able to express yourself, to blossom, to be yourself. You don't feel like you're mirroring yourself with this energy that you're dealing with. It's important to be, surround yourself with who you are. It's important to speak with who you are, you know, to 
counteract with people with who, excuse me, to um, exchange emotions, ex exchange thoughts with others of yourself. You know, you don't want to uh, interact with energies that are, you know, farthest away from you because they're only going to affect you. They're only going to bring you down. They're only going to hurt you. You know, they aren't serving you. So why are they you? Why are they there with you, <laughs> basically? So a lot of you are stuck in this energy, lost, trapped, and confused, stuck in stagnation. Some of you are possibly tied to this, this energy. Energetically, you are tied. This could be a person, place, or thing. Take it how it resonates. But a lot of you are stuck or feeling stuck at least. Your ancestors are saying you are healing, though. We are healing, though. We are going to see things for what it is. You know, we are going to see things for what it is. Whether you are refusing to see it, you're going to start to. And you see those chains breaking. Remember I said some of you are tied energetically. A lot of you are going to be literally breaking the bonds. You're going to be unbound to this energy, to this person, to this thing. Because it is not serving you. It's keeping you back. It's holding you down. It's keeping you attached. You know, cold, lonely. Which explains why feeling alone is out here. All right. So for a great deal of you, it is time to rest and reconsider. With that at the bottom of the deck, a lot of you are in this energy of repairing recharging rethinking things through you know seeing things from a different perspective possibly which is always beautiful is there anything else ancestors that you would like for us to know all right and they are saying for you to trust because no matter what all is well all is safe all is divine all is planned so it is literally for your highest good it is for you it is not to hurt you and what at the bottom of the deck your new vitality is coming so all is well and i keep saying this you guys are definitely taking the lead you're stepping into that heart chakra you're healing look healing wow you guys are definitely healing that's what i'm here and that's what i'm picking up heavy and then we got helpless and hopeless so some of you could be in this energy but we're definitely trusting we're regenerating we're re healing ourselves you know we're stepping back into this divine feminine aspect of ourselves the heart chakra all right i want to get some energy regarding this connection what is it that's got you you know in this challenge for energy what is it that you're feeling challenged about or stuck or indecisive about even please and thank you what, what is it that may have this, this viewer feeling alone, feeling stuck in stagnation, possibly bound? Please and thank you, ancestors of the highest white life. All right. So we have Queen of Wands. I could be dealing with the Empress. Like I said, you are definitely someone standing in your power. And with the black cat here, that is a good old man. Some people may think that black cats are bad luck or bad old men. Um, with the high friend at the bottom of the deck, you guys are definitely, you know, stepping or have already stepped into this Empress energy, this high priestess energy. You are the creator energy, you know? So a lot of you are protected by the most high. I could be talking to a Libra, possibly a Leo. I'm picking up Sagittarius as well. So some of you may be in this energy already with 33, 33 on the phone. You are definitely the queen of wands, standing in your truth, standing in your power, being your best authentic self with the hyphen here at the bottom of the deck. All right, what else we got here? So we have the lovers coming out. Some of you definitely could be, you know, in this divine connection I'm hearing. Some of you may be, you know, you found your counterpart. You find the, you found the love of your life, you feel like. Some of you may be on the right track of things, you know. Some of you may be viewing someone as the, you know, pentacle, as this sweet angel I'm hearing. Some of you may be viewing this this energy, your um counterpart, your your partner, as, you know, an angel very delicate very special and that you see how they're viewing you see how they're looking at it like oh my goodness i would do anything for this energy for this person for this thing it means so much to me it's so special you know so important to me some of you are definitely viewing something like that 
with the um, Knight of Cups. A lot of you feel the need to continue to move forward with things, to, can, to continue to move through with things, whether or not it is working out. You know, you just want to keep moving forward. You're basically uh, set in stone that you will keep going in life. You will keep manifesting. You, you will keep moving forward. You're not letting up. You're not letting go. You're not stopping. Nothing is stopping you. You're unstoppable. And if you can see the wings there are standing out to me, you're definitely an angel. You're flying. You're unstoppable. You're unreachable even. Hmm. With the Knight of Wands, hmm. you guys are definitely in that self-worth, you know, self-powerful energy. You definitely have claimed your power. Um, a lot of you have already, you know, detached. Like I said, some of you may have detached. Some of you may have already let go of that energy that wasn't serving you purpose. Basically, you're you're done. You know what's not for you. You're clear to it. You know you you're aware. You your your senses have heightened tremendously. You know, and ever since you have awakened to who you are, nothing or no one can get in the way of that. That's why you're in this Queen of Wands energy. You're standing in your power. And that black cat is representing your guardians, your angels. Remember? All right. And look, remember I said you're standing in your power, Queen of Wands. You wish somebody would. You're not playing. Not no more. Not no more. Look, because justice was served. You walked away from this energy. You let go. You let up. You forgave. You, 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 whatever. <laughs> Justice was served. And that is the beauty of it. You literally stood in your power. Spirit says you claimed it. You claimed your life back. You claimed your power. You spoke who you was to the universe or to these energies, to these people. You told it how it was. You let it be known. And you said, you know what? With or without you, I'm good. So that's just that. You know, are you going to be here or are you not? Get right or get left. And that's just that. <laughs> a lot of you have definitely let go of that baggage, I heard. All right. Anything else, ancestors of the high side life, that you would like to bring to our attention regarding this challenge? Why is there a challenging time? Possibly feeling alone for some of you. Please and thank you. All right. So we have, oh yeah, some of you definitely could be still in this energy of emotional, you know, destruction or emotional chaos, rather, is what I'm hearing. Some of you are disappointed. Some of you were left out in the cold, literally, you know, hurt, hurt, broken, I'm hearing, confused. This person left you just overall lost. Remember I was saying how you guys were lost? Some of you may be. Or feeling lost, left feeling lost, left feeling cold, emotional, super overwhelmed when it comes to this energy. Because you just didn't understand why things had to happen the way that it did. But your angels were telling you, remember, not only is justice served, but what happened to you was not to you, baby. It was for you, my love. You know, breathe, trust, allow for things to prosper, allow for things to play out so that we can show you exactly who you are and what you have in store for you look remember awaiting results what you put out is what you get back a lot of you've been doing the freaking thing you've been doing the work your ancestors are very proud they're very proud they're very proud congratulations congratulations you stood in your power and you claimed back your power you definitely did Look, Spirit said that's the truth. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. With the moon out here, there's definitely emotions. You guys, I could definitely be speaking to a Cancer or a Leo I'm picking up again. Um, so, yeah, you definitely laid something to rest. Or for a great deal of you, you haven't yet, which is why death is in the reverse. Or laying, um, excuse me, the four of swords are in the reverse. So, uh, yeah, a great deal of you may have, you know, let go and then for some of you or for others of you you haven't this is why you're caught up in this emotional you know bond or this emotional blockage in your life i'm hearing it's leaving you or it's keeping you feeling like just super tied up and like stuck hmm lay it to rest 
I heard. Lay it to rest. Look, this is why you need to lay it to rest because it's conflict in your life. It is literally conflict. It's trouble, it's drama, it's chaos. You don't need chaos because you're not chaos. Remember I said to surround yourself with who you are, to speak with people like-minded, to, um, you know, to literally, you are the company that you keep. And that's why they say you are the energy that you keep. You are the food that you eat. So whatever you are feeding yourself, wherever you are feeling, whatever you, however you view the world, is literally how others view you. So what you put out is what you get back. As within, as without, as above, so below. So yeah. But Spirit is saying you guys have been an angel again. You guys are definitely an angel. You guys are angelic. You guys are definitely on a... You're authentic. You're Some of you have been grounding like crazy. Wow. I love it. You have been being you. Nobody was able to stop that ever. Or maybe some people have been trying to, you know, people have been trying to, you know, let's just say project their ways onto you, their negative ways, their nasty ways, their toxic ways, their bad, you know, bad karmic ways of being because that's how they were raised. They're trying to give it to you and they want you to carry it. But you said no. You said, heck no. I don't deserve that. That's not me. The heck? with the page of swords in the reverse you stop looking for or seeking you know affirmations you stop seeking you know the call i'm getting you stop seeking the attention from this person even though it may have left you in this you know this confused energy restless restless nights you know sleepless nights just chaos and just headaches heartaches whatever it may have caused you you are now aware of that you're aware of this energy and you are in the uh energy of being determined you are now in the energy of knowing thyself you were once confused lost and you know basically overall just hopeless and helpless you felt completely drained some of you felt like you had nothing you had no 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 reason to live for about 13% of you. But Spirit is saying, now that you have walked away, now that you have decided to, you know, let go and not hold on to this, not continue to feed this, this negative energy and keep your sword up, keep your guard up now because you are aware of who and what these energies are and how they affect you. You guys have now, you know, with the death card here, you put that that mess the rest <laughs> you put that mess the rest and that's just that now a lot of you are in your power this is triumph so that is beautiful that's why it's important to hear all right spirit oh okay with the wheel of fortune and the upright a lot of you guys are reaping what you sow a lot a lot of you guys are um in the energy of feeling very abundant very you know abundant when it comes to receiving gifts from spirit receiving gifts from your angels i see your angels here rewarding you i see your angels watching you taking note you know of all that you have been putting out to furthermore um serve you back to pay you back to literally put what you put out there back into your pockets back into your heart back into your mind back into your spirit definitely could be talking to a cancer here wow so you guys are definitely reaping what you sow with the world in the reverse a lot of you guys haven't like i said put this to rest you guys definitely should you guys should definitely you know leave this energy where it is right here you see just a fight you know a fight that was lost some of you felt lost betrayed you know and you just turned your back on it anyways but this is the energy of not wanting to see things not wanting to end things you know remember we had refusing to see out here with the detached in the reverse you remember all of that energy your spirit guys are saying some of you need to put it to rest put it to death literally kill it off let it go move on whatever may have you because it is not for you it is not dealing it has it has nothing to do 
with your ascension, with what we have waiting for you. And in order for you to receive, a lot of you need to let go. With 4444 on the phone, yeah, for sure. Then we have the knight in the reverse. This is somebody who is uh, basically set comfortable or, you know, acceptable to their current situation, to their way of being, to their current situation. So if you aren't feeling, you know, like the man, like Sam the man, like you ain't feeling like yourself, you ain't feeling like your best, so it's because you need to get these energies up out of there. You need to get up out of that. That ain't you, this ain't you. Remember, we know who we are. We know what we deserve. So what's the energy regarding the current situation that the viewer is in? Please and thank you. What is the current situation that the viewer is in? that you are in guys for a lot of you the sun is in reverse with the death card here so a lot of you guys definitely are still feeling very 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 just mistreated abandoned and you know overall left out in the cold because you didn't want for this connection to end you didn't want for whatever it was that you were holding on to to literally disappear to go into a hell hole it did not turn out the way that you expected but your ancestors are saying that you need to let go of whatever you had your eye on. This one little fish of these emotions that you had, you know, for this being, for this energy, it came up in the reverse. So something was laid to rest or something needs to be laid to rest. But with that comes this. With this, after this, after this comes this. Look. With your, with your, with your wish fulfillment with your new soul, with your new soulmate. You know how I know it's a new soulmate? Because the lovers is out here. With your new soulmate, you're now standing in your power. You're now able to speak your mind, express yourself, be your true authentic self. Dress how you want to dress. Wear what you want to wear. As crazy or as funky as it may be, you're, you're being you with your new lover. And it is a soul, a soul connection. This is a divine soul's connection you see the divine the most high over it with the sun behind it that's the most high all right and then look some of you may be literally <laughs> getting married having kids with this energy so this is after you let go of that toxicity you're standing in your power you you you've received your ten of cups and that's just that <laughs> wish fulfillment with the emperor out here so i could be speaking to a male a masculine you are the emperor you are the dime you are the high priestess you are the star being and i keep saying this this could be um feminine as well but yes you guys have definitely you know stepped into your power and that is just that so with that being said i'm going to do one final you know toss with my cube here this is just a cube that i like to throw up in the air toss around a few times and get the overall message at the top of the cube you know to just one final message from your ancestors that they would like to express to you or communicate with you so this is very very interesting because <laughs> sometimes i don't be knowing what to expect but okay let's see all right so we have make time for fun so yeah celebration remember that celebration that triumph remember that ten of cups make time for fun because it's here what else where else where that card at remember this hold on guys give me one second uh, where's that energy that i'm looking for hmm that's weird, but you guys are definitely in the 
celebration error. Remember justice was served? There we go. Remember, we walked away from all that chaos. We laid it to rest for a great deal of you. It's okay if you feel alone right now. It's okay if you feel like nothing is happening for your best bet. You know, if nothing is working out in your favor, it's okay. Your ancestors and your spirit guides are definitely here with you and they're telling you to breathe, relax, and let go. All right, I think that is it. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this video, for watching this video. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for this reading. I do advise for you guys to keep moving forward, keep pushing through. Justice is here. The spirit says, you know, let this go. Get this, get this weight off your shoulder. Release, let go so you can transform and elevate to your best, true, highest self please and thank you but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in peace 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 love and light thank you